today on an all-new Dr. Phil. I am the wife of Tyler Perry. She's never met him. Her daughter's claim of fake Tyler Perry. He has scammed her out of a lot of money. Is conning their mom. So you are married to Tyler Perry? Yes, I am. Via video, he proposed to me. So you saw him? No, I didn't see him. I have not seen him face to face. Whenever she's about to get on a video chat with him, it's a black screen. The real Tyler Perry will not put you through all of this. It's possible that he's not real, right? He's real. But it's possible. He's real. It's possible. It is not possible that he's fake. Let's do it. Not a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. I am not giving up on you. a little different because I received an urgent anonymous message requesting help for a woman named Carla who believes she's married to celebrity Tyler Perry <laughs> and claims he is the father of two of her children and she is the biological mother of Perry's three-year-old son. Now think through that for a minute. <laughs> She claims that she is the biological mother of his three-year-old son. Now, how would you miss that? <laughs> she claims she talks to the industry legend almost every day via online chats and texting and has been helping him with some major issues. In fact, she claims she sent the star close to $100,000 because, for one thing, his plane needed repair and he needed to fund some work projects. Now, you may have guessed by now that Carla has never really even met Tyler Perry, the man she claims is the love of her life. Now, both of her daughters say they have exhausted all of their options trying to get their mother to face that she is being scammed here. Take a look. My parents got divorced four years ago. My mom was very lonely. She was on a Tyler Perry fan page on Facebook. She started scrolling through it, liking everything. This person reached out to her claiming to be Tyler Perry, and he stated that they known each other since they were children. He started telling her, you're beautiful, I love you, baby, and I'm here for you. We've been communicating a long time. He says, I will forever love you, baby, and everything you do, you are a lifesaver. She's never spoken with him. She's never met him. They've only communicated through text. Anytime he has tried to video chat her, it is a blank screen. It is black. At some point, Tyler Perry asked my mother to marry him and that they have a actual legal document stating that they are married. But she has never seen this legal document. The real Tyler Perry has a two-year-old child and this fake Tyler Perry has convinced my mother that she is the biological mother of the real Tyler Perry's son. She has not given an explanation as to how that could have possibly happened. The situation has gone so far to make my mother believe that one of her children, being me, is the offspring of Tyler Perry. That's outlandish because I know who my father is. It's just ridiculous. He really has been able to really get to her head and to make her think that she's gonna have this great dream life one day. Now, both Courtney and Kelly agree that their mother's life is going downhill fast ever since she fell head over heels for her online love. Take a look. Ever since this, Tyler Perry has come into my mother's life. He basically has ruined her life completely. This Tyler Perry asked my mother on multiple occasions to send him money so he can have it for charity. She sent him money approximately 50 times. $500 here, $1,000 there, $2,000 there, for a total amount of $100,000. They would all be through either MoneyGram or Western Union. He wanted her to send some money to an African address, and that just told us something right there that, you know, this guy has to be someone in another foreign country. 
Since this relationship has begun, she has lost her job. She sold her house, assuming that Tyler Perry was going to have this luxurious lifestyle waiting for her, this mansion, money out the wazoo. She has been living off of her 401k to support herself. My mom is almost on her last dime. Because this Tyler Perry has put her in this position, she has lost the custody of her two youngest children, my brother and sister, ages 12 and 17. It has torn the family apart. Me and my siblings have all tried to convince my mother that this Tyler Perry is not real. No matter what we say, she won't believe that she's being scammed. She believes everything that comes out of his mouth. It's Tyler Perry and her against the world. Okay, I'm glad to meet you guys, and I wish it had been a little sooner, but I'm glad it's now instead of later. How is this happening? I mean, you know your mother. I mean, she's an right. intelligent woman. She's worked for Homeland Security mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. 24 right. years. But this is a yes. bright, discerning, intelligent, sophisticated woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how do you explain this to yourselves? Well, I will say that it has happened in the time of her vulnerability from divorce with our father. Mm -hmm. So I would say that tipped off her off the edge and she has really been in a vulnerable state. She has felt, she has felt lonely and she has been hurt by all of these situations. Right. And now, when was the divorce versus when she started communicating with right. this individual? So I would say the divorce, um, they got separated probably like 2013, 2014. And so they started communicating a, a few months after that, so yeah. I would say like late 2014, early 2015. So she really was vulnerable at that time, yes. kind of on the rebound, empty, yes. looking for validation perhaps mm -hmm. in, in some way. Right, and that's what this person saw her at her vulnerability state and took advantage of her in every way. And she won't listen to you? No, no matter what we do, she will not listen, understand at all that this person is scamming her. This is happening on Facebook to begin with. Yes. And everybody knows if you're at all on Facebook, a blue check shows that the profile is authentic. Mm -hmm. It's this blue check right here means that this has been verified and is authentic. Mm -hmm. They know that it's Tyler Perry. And over here, there is no blue check. And then when you go look at the people's friends on here, you'll, when you start checking on them, they're not real people. They're like empty accounts. Mm -hmm. They don't have any friends. They don't have any background. There's nothing behind them. It's all made up. And, and we have to fight this stuff. Mm -hmm. I've had as many as 19 fake Dr. Phil profiles up. Right now there are five as of this morning. They'll be gone by the end of the day and then they'll pop back up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. People just put up these fake uh, profiles. They put them up for Robin all the time. and scam people and so yeah, that's so. what she got onto. They hijack his picture, they put it up there mm -hmm. and so exactly. she thinks that that's the real guy because it's his real picture, right? Exactly. We've reported like these pages mm -hmm. like number of times but like you said they pop back up the next day or the next week and they just keep coming back. There's other suspicious behavior that you've pointed out to her. According to the daughters, well there's, there's this unverified Facebook page he speaks in broken English. Yes. He won't meet. Not at all. He's asking for money. Yes. He claims that the new child that he has, who's three, is Carla's via a surrogate. Yes. Meaning that her eggs have been harvested, mm -hmm. implanted in a surrogate, right. and then born. And her explanation for that is, I. I I really don't know how that happened, but I right. believe it did. Right, right. Everything that's on the list, um, we have went through, of course, the unverified Facebook page. We have told her and showed her through the text messages between them that, as you can see, there's broken English and won't meet. So whenever she, whenever she says that she's about to get on a phone call with him or a video chat with him, he says, okay, I'm ready. And whenever they get on there, it's a black screen. He will not say anything one time. She tries to talk to him, hello, I'm here. He won't reply. And as far as the money, yes, he has, there's numerous stories of her sending money to him because he says that it's going to different charities, it's going to his mother's implant, and it's going to all these things to help someone. And with my mom being a loving person, she's, she does it because she thinks it's actually going to help people when it's not. Yeah, and you're actually supposedly his child. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, hitting on that and going back to the surrogacy as well, I mean, y'all laugh like it's funny, but 
when it comes to us having to do this, having my mom buy a Christmas gift for a child that she thinks is hers and thinking that she's going to see that child because this person is telling her that they're going to come visit us and then having my little brother look at her saying that she has another child, another son, and he's her only son and having him, a 12 year old, having to deal with this is just not funny and it's not and it's something serious to just look at her mom and she believes this completely that's why we're here to to bring this all out and to let her know that this is is this is not real and this needs to get just come out of the closet in, in fairness to the audience by the way some of it sounds so outrageous that mm -hmm. you know you have to yeah. it, it stretches your mind Everybody understands this is very serious and we don't want her to go broke. We don't want her to be broken hearted. We've got to get this through to her. One of the things he wanted was money to fix a jet. I was there when this person asked her, I need $500 to fix my maintenance issues on my jet in order to come out and see you. And later, you are married to Tyler Perry. Yes, I am. You've never met him face to face. Right. My family has been thinking that I've been in a relationship with an imaginary individual. Monday on an all-new Dr. Phil. Her sister claims she has a mental illness. It makes her lie, cheat, steal. You're not buying it. Not at all. But will she confess? You have this attitude, this chip on your shoulder. To faking pregnancies. You gave her a positive pregnancy stick. Where'd you get it? That's irrelevant. That's so not irrelevant. You knew you weren't pregnant. Why did you do that? I don't know. I don't accept that answer. That's Monday. Okay, well, understand, I'm on a mission here. We have got to convince her, put a body check on her, because he has scammed her out of a lot of money. She still has some money that he can scam her out of. We're in this together. It's the right. three musketeers here. Right. We're, right. we're going to get her stopped. And, and it, it's not, it's not going to be fun for her to hear the truth, but I'd rather her hear the truth now than get completely bankrupted and then hear the truth. Right. And so that's what we've got to do. And I take no pleasure in telling someone something that is going to hurt them. But mm -hmm. again, we don't want her to go broke and then find out the truth. And she's going to find out the truth. And these inconsistencies about Tyler and Carla's children together, according to Tyler, he has three children with Carla. He told Carla, um, Kelly and her youngest are his bio kids. Mm -hmm. He said Perry's youngest son from Harvested Eggs. Now, according to research, Carla doesn't remember the painful process. The egg harvesting takes like 60 hours. I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. So the conclusion, I mean, Tyler's just not Tyler right. Perry. He's asking for money Tyler Perry wouldn't be asking exactly. your mom for money. And I'm in a little bit different situation here uh, because in this situation, Tyler Perry's actually a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He's a really good friend of mine. And I, I, I know him. We've known each other for years. And I, I mean, I can tell her for absolute certain during some of the times that she mentions in here, he and I have been together, we've been talking to each other. For example, one of the things he wanted was money to fix one of his jets. Um, he needed $500 to fix a jet. Uh, I was actually in that situation. I was there when he asked, well, this, when this person asked her, and that's at the point where she wanted me to talk to him, well, through text, and I had the phone texting, and of course, like, if he's supposed to be my father, the first thing he asked me whenever I was texting him, send me a picture of you so that I know it's real. Mm -hmm. I sent, like, an old picture from years ago, and then he's like, oh, okay, hi, sweet face girl or something like that. I need $500 to fix my um, maintenance issues on my jet in order to come out and see you. And then I immediately asked him, 
Well, if you make like about a million and something dollars a year, then how do you need, then how come you can't use your own money? And then he like, this person just shut down, didn't say anything after that. Well, he didn't make a million dollars a well, year. Yeah. <laughs> he makes a lot more than that. Yeah. And, and, and I can tell you, uh, it, he and I have a, we, we talk a lot about jet airplanes and I can painfully tell you, you can't turn a screw on a jet for less than $5,000. Yeah. I mean, you've got you to have an FAA inspection. It's got to be signed. Seriously, you can't right. change a light bulb on a landing gear for less than $5,000. You can't change a light bulb. And so $500 to fix a jet, I mean, honest, you can't get anybody to walk up the stairs for $500. This right. is just, I mean, it's just absurd. Mm -hmm. Tyler's been very blessed financially and um, he gives away money, he doesn't ask for money. Right. It's, right. it's just absurd. I, I know him very personally. We've done movies together, we've done, mm -hmm. I mean, he lives near me, we right. hang out. It's, mm -hmm. I would know if he had someone in his life. Um, just, 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 I could tell you personally, right. it's just absolutely not real. Coming up, we'll meet the woman who thinks she's Mrs. Tyler Perry and hear why she loves her new husband unconditionally. We'll talk to her next. It makes me ecstatic just knowing that I am the wife of Tyler Perry. I believe that Tyler Perry is raising my two-year-old biological son because he indicated to me that I am the mother. The blood that runs through that child's veins is mine. My love for Tyler Perry is sincere, it's real. And later... I was told that he is my son. Your eggs were planted in a surrogate. I didn't believe it myself at first. How did they get your eggs? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, who does know? Tyler knows. Fake Tyler Perry has been scamming my mom, has been driving a wedge between my sister and I and my mother. I have seen text messages between this Tyler Perry stating that he will leave her if she does not send him the money. He talks rude to her all the time, curses to her all the time, does not show any real love towards her. I need my mother to wake up from this situation and realize that this guy is scamming her. Carla says Tyler Perry has been a godsend for her since her divorce despite her daughter's adamant stance that Tyler is not the celebrity, but is instead some scammer. Now, Carla has been married to Tyler for over two years, but the couple still has not come face to face. Take a look. I met Tyler Perry through his official Facebook account. Tyler was a complete gentleman with me. It made me feel awesome. I was intrigued by not only his intelligence, his talent, and his old-fashioned classic ways. He's written poems. He did tell me that he loved me, and I told him that I loved him. We instantly connected. Our primary way of communicating was email, hangouts, text messaging. I didn't talk to him on the phone. I tried on many occasions to get him to meet me face to face, and for some reason, he always came up with some reason not to. You have to understand, he is a brilliant, mind-boggling mastermind, very talented, and so you can expect outside of the norm with him. Approximately two years ago, he asked me to marry him. I told him yes. It makes me ecstatic just knowing that I am the wife of Tyler Perry. I believe that Tyler Perry is raising my two-year-old biological son because he indicated to me that I am the mother. I don't know how that would be possible. I didn't donate any eggs to a clinic. The blood that runs through that child's veins is mine. Tyler has asked me to donate to his charities, to our projects, for us and our future. Tyler will give me the information on where to send the, the donation. He said, don't worry about it, because when we get back together, you're going to have that and much more. So it didn't matter, because he was going to give it back. I am not doing well financially right now. I don't care about getting the money. I, I care about us being together and living as a family. I work for the Department of Homeland Security. I've been trained on money laundering. I know a scam when I see it. Do I believe I'm being scammed? No, I don't believe I'm being scammed. My love for Tyler Perry 
is sincere is real. And I mean that. Well, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. It's good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, um, you are married to Tyler Perry? Uh, yes, I am. And for how long? Uh, approximately two years. Two years. Now, you all met on Facebook, right? Well, actually, Tyler's uh, picture from his official Facebook account started appearing uh, all over the, um, all over my screen. Every time I would go on, it would appear as though he, you know, he was trying to get my attention, and so. But you were married at the time. I was married at that time. Yes. Yeah, so so you nothing weren't. really happened at that time. We, you know, he sat back a little, a little bit, and 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 watched uh, for some time uh, as I was going through my divorce. Now he proposed to you on via video. He proposed to me on video through, through an app. Mm -hmm. So you saw him. No, I didn't see him. I don't know if a lot of people know the phrase, uh, we walk by faith, not by sight. And so we were walking um, on... Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go
Only by faith. I have not seen him face to face. I have the proposal, actually, you, you, you shared with us. Tyler, now, I want to propose to you now. Am right here. I want to propose to you now. Close your eyes. Will you marry me? You remember that? I remember it like yesterday at 3 something in the morning. Did you close your eyes? Yeah, yes, I did at the time. Well, how could you read it if you closed your eyes? You had to, you had to read it and then close your eyes, right? I he only wanted me to close my eyes for a moment. I okay. closed my eyes for a moment, right. and then, um, and then the, he uh, sent the other, the, the last one he asked me to marry him. Right. And mm -hmm. uh, were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. He was really in, into me, our mm -hmm. conversation. We were... Okay. And then there's a text from Tyler to his wife. He says, you know, Carla, you say, wife? And he says, yes, you, my heart. And you say, name, say my name, say my name. And he says, Carla Perry. And you say, who is Carla Perry? And he says, my lovely, beautiful, and gorgeous. My, you say, my lovely, beautiful, and gorgeous what? And he says, wife. You guys were kind of playing around. Well, I mean, yeah, we play around all the time. I mean, Tyler is um, a, has, is a, a, a different per person when he's with me. I mean, what you see in public is is uh, is one individual, and him and I have a, a special relationship. I understand him very well. He invited you to Thanksgiving. We weren't able to go. We never got the address. And you went to his Atlanta house. The, the security guard didn't open the gate because my sister came with me. We don't have to do the math month-wise, mm -hmm. but it's been two and a half or three years that you've been married. Uh, yes, sir. I've never been one to obsess over any celebrity. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to just haphazardly just make anything up for any type of attention. Mm -hmm. I don't even like attention. I'm a very private person. I'm here because I want my God sent blessing, Tyler, uh, which I, it, I have been hoping that he would be here um, to uh, put my daughter's mind at ease mm -hmm. uh, because my family have been thinking that I've been in a relationship with an imaginary individual. Well, in fairness to them, mm -hmm. y you've never met him face to face. Right. So I understand that, and we, and so because you went to I a play, their concern. You went to a play in New Orleans, right? I went to, and you didn't meet there. I went. I've been to all of, a lot of his plays. But he invited you to Thanksgiving. Uh, we were invited to Thanksgiving for one Thanksgiving, and when we went there, we weren't. Um, we didn't. We weren't. We, we stayed at my sister's place. We didn't. I wasn't. We weren't able to go. We never got the address. Actually, we never did get the address. So he invited you to Thanksgiving, but then didn't give you the address. When we got there, uh, it, there was a change of plans. But then he posted something. Um, see, a lot of people. You have to understand. We we've been walking by faith. He's let me know that he has known me longer than I ever thought that he did. I've known him a, long, a very long time. He's a little bit more connected to my family than I even knew. Okay, but you, you, you've been to book signings in Atlanta and New York City. Yes, I went to New York City. Mm -hmm. I went to Atlanta. And um, did you meet Atlanta. him there? No, I didn't meet him there. He said to go to his New York condo. You didn't need a hotel. Go to the New York condo and you could just stay there. We went there. And I was given uh, a Park Avenue address of a possibility that w where we can stay. But we ended up not staying there. Okay, but you, when you went to this address, this condo, you were turned away. They indicated that there was no person uh, such as uh, Tyler Perry who stayed uh -huh. there. And you went to his Atlanta house. I went to his Atlanta house with my sister. I was invited uh -huh. there to go come by myself. And I went there and... I came with my sister, and he told me later uh, the reason why the, the security guard didn't open the gate was because my sister came with me. However, when we went up to the gate, um, I pressed the button, and I indicated 
that I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to to see uh, Tyler. And then I, I heard someone talking in the background. And then the security guard said, "Well, just wait a minute. I'm coming up front." So when mm -hmm. he came up front, he looked in the car and saw it was both me and my sister. Mm -hmm. And then he said, "Well, no, um, you don't have to make an appointment." And okay. so we did, so that was it. But I talked to him after that, and he was uh, he had a problem with me coming with my sister. Okay, church he never showed. Hawaii never showed. Um, Hawa and Hawaii, as far as he wasn't supposed to show in Hawaii. That was that was I was only there with my. He was supposed to take you to Hawaii. Remember? Take me to Hawaii. He was supposed to take you on a trip. He was supposed to do a lot of things that he said he was going to show up and do, and he never did. Like, he says a lot of things, and if this was the real Tyler Perry, for the man that he shows he, as himself in the media, who, who, who has um, values and church values and godly values, would not go through all of this, and would not put you through all of this. And we've said this before. Like, a, he wouldn't make you send you all of this money. He wouldn't make you think that he was coming over and over and over on multiple occasions and then not show up or have you wait or have you put this pressure on you and your family. Well, let's take a break and then I, I want you to give you a chance to respond to that. Coming up, Carla says her daughters need to understand that she needs love too after her divorce. I mean, of course, that's very understandable. Uh, but they think this person she's communicating with is not Tyler Perry. And Carla, I, of course, is mm -hmm. adamant that he is. That he is. We'll talk about that next. <laughs> it's possible that he's real. It's possible that he's not. He's real. But it's possible. It is not possible that he's fake. I wouldn't be here doing this. I'm not that type of person to waste my time. I love Tyler. My daughter, Courtney, and my daughter, Kelly, they don't believe that I'm in a relationship with Tyler. I think that they were mad about the divorce. If it was up to them, they would want me to get back with their dad. Well, Courtney says she has tried over 10 times with her sister Kelly to convince her mother uh, that Tyler is not Tyler Perry. Now, Carla, let me, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. I, I approach all of these things. When I, when I, when I get a notebook and, and I open it, it doesn't matter whether it's a, a custody fight or mm -hmm. a criminal situation or mm -hmm. a husband and wife at odds or whatever. I open this book with a completely open mind. And I go where the evidence leads me. Mm -hmm. And I, are y'all willing to do the same thing? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to look at it with an open mind? Definitely. Because it's possible that he's real, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a possibility. Well, it's, it's possible right. in the universe that he's real. It's possible in the universe that he's not, right? I mean, anything's possible. He's real. But it's possible. He's real. It's possible. It is not possible that he's fake. I wouldn't be here doing this. I'm not that type of person to waste my time. I love Tyler. And okay. I want him to get in divine order. People see what they see in public. So you, you're, not willing, you're not willing to be open-minded like okay, I am. Okay, I'll be open-minded then. Okay, it's possibility. <laughs> A very small chance. Your enthusiasm is underwhelming. <laughs> no. but I'm a child of God. I have every faculty going on. I, I, am very, I have a very sound frame of mind. Well, well I don't I, doubt that, but emotions and the intellect are often yeah, different things. Yes. And, uh, and let me say, you say that he's very different. Um, Tyler Perry is a very good personal friend of mine. I know that. That's part and, of the reason why I wanted you to do this, because you can bring out the truth, even if he doesn't want to and, appear or say anything. And you say he's different, and... He's and, awesome. And I, mm -hmm. and I do know him, and I, mm -hmm. I have met him personally. I mm -hmm. mean, we know each other really. I've done movies with him. I've done projects mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. Well, I did movies with Medea. He's a little different as Medea. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But, I mean, I, I, I know him really well. Robin knows him very well. He, Robin and Tyler are very, very dear friends. Who's Robin? Uh, Robin, my wife, right there. Raise your hand. Where? Your Raise wife. Your hand. Where is she? Yeah. She's beautiful. And uh, 
Yeah, thank you. When were we last with Tyler? Wasn't it just like two weeks ago at Oprah's house? Yes, yes. It was, well, it was before very, the fire, so it was uh, like three weeks ago, maybe. Yes, yes. At Oprah's house for a... He's just so, so charming. Yeah, he's he's so, so then you know whether or not, you know, already know the outcome of this. Well, I know Tyler. I'm just, uh, and I'm going to mm -hmm. take you through all of this. Now, the phone number, the phone number that he's talking to you on okay. does not attach to a service provider. There's no physical address. Which phone number? Well, I don't want to say the number oh. on television, okay. but it's the number you gave us. What number um, did I give you? Can you show me? Mom, the number in your, in your yeah, phone. the number in your phone that you used to message it's, with. It's the number in your phone. That I, the, which number in my phone have I been I mean, messaging? There's with. multiple platforms yeah. you talk to him with, so it's, it's one, of, one of those. That because you, you have to understand that there's, um, and what name, see, my, my daughters have had an, uh, a habit of picking up my phone and looking at it and assuming that what they see, they know exactly what they're talking about. Well, so, let me say this. You have different ways of communicating with him, right? Different ways of communicating, yes. Well, I have his personal cell phone, it, but it's verbatim on a scam website on a list of things that people send to women to seduce them. Okay. Okay. There's another one that was sent to you. You are the reason I stay happy in life. Let me tag you as world's greatest wife. Love you lots, my sweetheart. Please don't ever part. You are the reason why I stay happy in life. Let me tag you as world's greatest wife. Love you lots, my sweetheart. Please don't ever part. Okay. And it's just lifted and put here. Then you got this one. You have always guided me when I was wrong. You are the force behind my success in life. A special thanks for being a wonderful human being and a great wife. You have always guided me when I was wrong. You are the force behind my success in life. This has been up for years because they take these mm -hmm. and use them so they don't have to create something new every time. Next. You are the inspiration behind all that I do and the source of all that is good in my life. You are the inspiration behind all that I do and the source of all that is good in my life. All of these wonderful things he's writing you are all things that scammers use to seduce women here. Okay. And I, I mean, I've got 10 more. So you're saying you're saying that all of the 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 texts that you have that was written to me were uh, all part of scam sites is what you're saying. I'm saying these were not written by him. Well, they weren't written by Tyler Perry. They weren't written by the person who's telling you he's Tyler Perry. They're written by different sources and put on a site mm -hmm. where someone that is communicating can go cut and paste something and put it and send it to someone mm -hmm. because they've proven to be effective. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Aside from that, all of the other texts that have been sent to you that, that uh, have other conversation, is that, is, is that what, is what you're determining whether or not it was the real Tyler? Uh, no, I'm just saying, if 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 this is the if this is the man that you're describing as walking in faith and mm -hmm. and being Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. why is he going to a site where he can pull down quotes that scammers use? instead of just talking to you. He has, uh, I mean, that, that right there is probably a very small percentage of the over the hundreds of text messages that I've received. But I mean, I can't dispute. If you say that that is the case, that you've checked that out, I can't dispute that. You gave money to a, a cancer charity in Shelby, North Carolina, right? I have given money. We actually checked that address. There's nothing there. You sent money to a blank field. 
We're out of time for today, and I have so much more to say in order to get through to Carla, hopefully. She claims there is a marriage license out there proving she is Tyler Perry's wife. Well, we'll look into that and how Carla can possibly be the mother of Tyler Perry's son. Take a look. Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil. I am his wife. I believe that Tyler Perry is raising my son. How did somebody get eggs out of your body? I don't know. Who does know? Tyler knows. Well, how can you be married and not have been together? Is it a scam? Carla thinks she's sending money for Tyler. Kindly know me when you have make the transfer. He doesn't talk that way. You're not talking to the real Tyler Perry. Ooh, so you think I've been conned that I've never had any communication with Tyler Perry? I think you've been speaking to a Nigerian that is pretending to be him. That's tomorrow. Plus, there is another man in this Tyler Perry mystery who may be the key to unraveling this whole mess. We'll reveal who he is tomorrow. You do not want to miss that. Thanks, and we'll see you then.